Hey guys, what's up? This is Richie from Achievement Hunter back with another Dark Souls guide. Today we're going to be getting all nine Covenant achievements. I'm going to be going in roughly the order that of the game. The first one is the Way of White Covenant. At the Firelink Shrine, go over here and talk to Petrus, the fat guy. Say yes to him, and then he'll ask you to join his Covenant. And that'll get you 15 gamer score for the Way of White. Next up is the Warriors of Sunlight. Make your way up to the Dragon Bridge over here where the Red Drake is nesting. Dragon Drake, whatever. Wait for about 30 seconds, he'll jump down. Something about the Warriors of Sunlight is you need to have a faith level of 25 to join. But this, will, this requirement will be reduced by 5 for every successful boss you kill in a co-op session. So, get cracking on that jolly cooperation, huh? Pray to the altar. And hit enter the covenant. 25 gamer score for the Warriors of Sunlight. Praise the sun. Next we have the Chaos Servants. This is after you've rung the second bell of awakening. After defeating Quaylog. There's an illusory wall. Attacker roll through it. Come to the Mr. Eggman here. Oh, yeah. Talk to him and then he'll slowly shuffle out of the way. Say yes to his, an his little question there. Don't say yes to his answer. That's weird. He'll, he'll shuffle out of the way and talk to this pretty lady. You'll ask to enter the Covenant, and that is another 25 gamer score. Next, there are the Forest Hunters. You need to purchase the Crest of Artorias from Andre the Blacksmith. And after you do that, you can make your way up to the Cat Lady. She'll ask you two questions, say yes to both of them. And then she'll ask you to join the Covenant. And that'll unlock 25 gamer score for the Forest Hunter Covenant. Bunch of jerks. Next is the Blade of the Dark Moon Covenant. This is in the catacombs where the giant skeleton falls on you. You'll need to pick up the Dark Moon Seance ring from that coffin. Take the ring to Enorlando and push this dial so this center structure will go down. Head down the stairs and into this hallway. At the end of the hallway, equip the Dark Moon Seance Ring. The statue will disappear. Head down the stairs, and Dark Sun Gwendolyn will ask you to join the Blade of the Dark Moon. 25 gamer score. Next is probably the second easiest one, Princess's Guard. After you receive the Lord Vessel from Guinevere, just talk to her about entering the Covenant, and bam, that's 25 gamer score for the Princess's Guard. Easy, easy, easy. Try holding with both hands. Next is the Grave Lord's Servant. This is also in the catacombs. This is where the Titanite Demon was. There is an open coffin here. If you'll nestle in there for about 30 or 45 seconds, it'll take you here. Make your way along the right-hand side here. And you should see a pretty neato-looking coffin. Pray to the Sarcophagus Grave Lord. Select Enter Covenant. And you should get a healthy 25 gamer score for the Grave Lord Servants. Next is the Dark Wraith Covenant. Now, for this one, you have to defeat the Four Kings in New Londo before talking to Frampt. If you talk to Frampt uh, before you fight the Four Kings, you will not be able to join this covenant until the next game, so be wary of that. Just say yes to Darkstalker Koth here, and he'll take you to the Firelink Altar, and he'll take you back to the Abyss. You can then talk to him about entering the Covenants, and you'll get the achievement for the Dark Wraiths. Last and best is the Path of the Dragon. Make your way into Blight Town up the big tree. There'll be an illusory wall on the top of the root. Roll through it and attack, or attack. And behind the chest will be another illusory wall as well. I recommend resting at this bonfire in case you fall down while trying to descend this trunk. At the bottom will be a hallway leading to a fog door. Step through the fog door and you'll enter Ash Lake. Pretty cool looking area if you ask me. 
make your way down to the beach, and after about three to four minutes of solid running, you'll come up to this guy. Pretty scary. Ooh, I'm spooked. Pray to the everlasting dragons. Enter the covenant. 25 gamer score for the Path of the Dragon. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with more Dark Souls guides. In the meantime, stay tuned to AchievementHunter.com for more.